What's up you guys, it's Key Amber Vaughn, AKA Coach Key coming back to you with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and also tap the bell so that you are notified of every new video that I post. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it's time to do the budget results for the week four paycheck for the May budget. That was a mouthful. So I do still have one more weeks ago in the budget and I'm just going to print out another one of these note sheets and staple them. You guys will see that on Sunday. Okay, so let's get started up here at the top. So some updates for you guys. So I did go ahead and pay the $200 for the housing. I am going with option number two of paying off this debt which if you guys missed it, I went live into, um, or into, I went live inside of my budget group on Facebook. So I started this week with a balance of $13.45.74. And I did go ahead and just pay, let me use, do I want to use red or green? I think I'm going to use green. I used red last week, but I think it's best to use green. So. I did pay $200 for that. And let me zoom y'all in. I know y'all like, uh, you think we supposed to stay that zoomed out the whole time? Okay. <laughs> so I did pay $200. Now, I also paid a little bit more on top of that, but we'll come back to that later. So up here, I am going to, how do I want to do this though? Oh, do I want to keep $200 right there? Yes, I am going to keep $200 there. Um, as far as the VIP thing, for some reason it wasn't charged to me. More than likely it's probably going to come out tomorrow and that will be in next week's budget. So I'm just going to put the $50 here because I wasn't charged that yet for whatever reason. So that means the total for the fixed expenses was $200. Now for the budget, let's go to the expense tracker. So we have from here all the way to the end of the sheet and I just have to print another expense tracker so I can get that together. All right, so I spent quite a bit of money. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm over budget this week or somewhere close to it. So first is the Groupon. Um, I purchased a $60 Groupon for my parents. Um, basically, instead of me getting my parents a Mother's Day and Father's Day gift, this year I decided to do something a little bit different and do like a parent's day. <laughs> so I'm like forcing them to go on a date. So I bought them this Groupon to this really expensive steakhouse here in St. Louis where like a 24 ounce ribeye is like $65 or something. So I pay 60, but it's a hundred dollars that they can spend. So, and they were happy with that actually, because my parents are the type, don't give me anything. It's fine. I got what I want. So I'm like, you know what? How about I force you guys to go out and have fun? Let's do that. <laughs> All right. So next I had to pay shipping. I bought some CBD gummies last week. And so I had to pay the shipping for that. And let's see, let's go here. So I bought some, um, what did I buy here? I bought some clothes for my cousin's baby who's gonna be born in two months. We're having the baby shower Sunday. So I needed to buy some more stuff because I just bought like two things last time I was here. So I did that. And then I had to buy like the gift bag and a couple of other things from the dollar store. Then I gave my grandma $25 for Mother's Day. And now I'm going to be over budget because I also bought my cousin's son. Well, it's his stepson, but it's his son. You know, I bought him a couple of outfits earlier today. He's one and he fits in 24 month clothes. Child, look, that's my little baby. And then earlier today, I bought me and my grandma some lunch. I went over to her house and talked to her for like three, four hours. So I didn't want to put it in restaurants because it wasn't really for myself. It's kind of like taking my grandma out to lunch. That's like a miscellaneous thing to me. So even though it puts me further over budget, I'm cool with that. Okay, so let's go back up here to groceries here. So we ended groceries at 210.17. So I'm going to subtract the 315 for that. I didn't really go grocery shopping this week because I only worked on Monday this week. And today that I'm filming this is Thursday. 
Tuesday morning, I came back to St. Louis, so, and I haven't needed to get groceries while I was here because they had quite a bit of food, honestly. Um, so this week, I just basically didn't really go grocery shopping, which is fine. I spent more on restaurants, but it is what it is. It, it all ends up balancing itself out. And next is restaurants. I'm going to be over in this category this month, and that's whatever. So again, because I didn't get groceries, I spent more on restaurants. 52 minus and then I got Burger King on my way here because I needed a sugar spike. I got off work Tuesday morning after 12 and a half hours and I was already up three hours before I went into four hours before I went into work and I got straight on the road and drove three hours so three and a half hours so I really needed like a little sugar <laughs> so I got some French toast sticks from Burger King and that's it with that. So next is gas. And we left off gas at 294.75. Alright, gas before I left. And then I just bought gas again because I'm about to leave out. And then I have to come back in a couple of days. For the baby shower okay so next is personal household we ended that at 54.44 gonna subtract 544 I bought a gel cleanser for my face and then next is shopping I ended that at 49.46 I got a water jug and this little like boss lady thing that sits on the desk. It's really cute. Down here we got 34.80 and then got something from Walmart. I don't even remember. What the heck did I get? This I know I got a binder. What did I get from Ross for myself? Oh, I know what I got. Um, it's a, uh, what do you call it? It's a meal planning calendar. I'm like, what the heck? I'm going to start doing some, probably like one meal planning or two meal planning um, videos a week for you guys. So you guys can see how when I do go grocery shopping, I don't spend a whole lot, even though I eat pretty healthy. Okay, so that's that. So now let's go ahead and calculate how much we have left in the budget for going into the last week so that we can input that here to see how much we spent. So groceries, we got 20702. Personal household, we got 49 left. Miscellaneous, we are negative 2545. Restaurants, it's 2030. Medical is zero. Supplements is 3613. Which after this month, if I like these CBD gummies, I'm going to start grouping that into supplements because it technically is a supplement to help me with my anxiety. Um, next is gas and I still have 248.25 left. And then shopping, I still have 30.65 left. So I have 565.90 left in the budget going into the last week, which is more than what I need. I budgeted out 280 a week. So let's do the 850.49 minus the 565.90 that I have left over. Oh, I didn't overspend as much as I thought. I thought I was way over budget. I guess because I swiped my car so much this week, like compared to usual. Oh my God, that's kind of cool. All right. So let's go ahead and flip back here. So I was only over budget. Four dollars in let's try that again four dollars and 59 cents now let's come down here because there's a couple things I have to change first otherwise my numbers are going to be way off um 
as far as this goes, well, you know what? This is correct. It's just I sent, no. What did I write down my income to be? Three, five, six, oh, four. Yeah. So, instead of, because basically what I did was I added the 552.97 to the 87.62 that I sent for my taxes, but it shouldn't have been there because I had already taken that out as far as the income goes, because my total income for the week was basically this plus the $87 that I took out. So what I need to do is I need to just kind of like write it in. Since 87.62 of YouTube income to tax sinking fund. So that's gonna change these numbers just a bit. So 305604 minus the 552.97. So that gives me this remaining. So then I have to come down here and I have to change these as well. Hello. All right, where was I at? My aunt just called me and she threw me all off. Oh, duh, Key Amber. Okay, so two, four, five, three, seven, seven. And first, let me move the budget. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 50 minus 459. This is correct. So I'm under budget overall, 45, 41. Okay. And this was the income. And before I finish all of this, uh, why did I just do that again? It's right there, duh. Okay, so before I finish this off, let me... um finish this part. So what I ended up doing, instead of me sending everything, this to my sinking fund, I, well, I actually did end up sending it, but I pulled it out and I ended up putting that on this discover bill. And this statement ends on the fourth, if I'm not mistaken. So, Sunday, I will be making the last payment for this. So let's go ahead and do this so I know how much is left over. Um, 74 minus 200 minus 552.97. So I only have 592.77 left to pay on this to pay it off. So the reason why I chose to do it this way is because by the end of this month, I should be under budget about this much, maybe amount about this amount or maybe a little bit less no I think I should have about this much so this means that um so Sunday I'm gonna make the $200 payment right and then I'm gonna have $392.77 left over from that I'm gonna pull that out of my miscellaneous sinking fund because the statement ends on the 4th but my June budget doesn't end until the 6th. So on the 6th is when I zero myself back down to $4,000. So when I zero myself back down, that $392.77, I'll shoot it right back to my miscellaneous fund to refund myself. And then whatever's left over from that, I'll end up putting in this medical sinking fund. Um, 
a short synopsis of the reason why I chose this way instead of continuing to do $200 a week um, into June is because with me not having housing expenses in June, and you guys will see this next month, I get to start allocating towards my savings pretty much on the first day of my budget because the first day of my budget is when I get paid again for my travel job, which means that what I was trying to do to build this up so that when I start going to doctors next month, I'm going to do it better by not having housing expenses in June because it's already paid off here this month. So that's going to help me out a lot because I can't start going to doctors anyway until the week of the 10th. So it kind of works out. All right. So let's finish this part off down here. And why did I put 250? Oh, because that's the. All right. So it only ended up being $200. And then we spent $284.59. And then. 552.97 was technically sent off to savings. I just pulled it right back out. Um, 39.81 minus 250 minus 280 minus 552.97. I'm just redoing this part down here. And 5.684. So 603981 minus 200 minus 284.59 minus 552.97 is $5,002.25. And I'm just checking my bank account to make sure that that's actually what my ending balance was. That's what my account is at. So we are good there. Just to do my last check. $24.53.77 plus the $25.03.07 that I thought I would be under budget plus this $45.41 that I actually was under budget more. That gives me the $5,002.25. All right, so we're good. So at this point, my only plan you guys will see in the next paycheck to paycheck budget is to finish paying this off by the end of the month. But I have to first pay it off Sunday and pay myself back on Thursday. But that is where we are. I think I'm doing pretty freaking good. I think the biggest thing that helped me and why I'm not really... Uh, over budget this month so far is because I had such a substantial gas budget and grocery budget that I haven't even really touched very much of. I'm not even halfway through them. So um, yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.